Hello, Darkman Doll here. Today what I wanted to do is show, share with you a commission piece that I've been working on recently and it's for this really sweet lady who donated to my GoFundMe. I have a GoFundMe and it's helping to raise money for this upcoming move I have in April, which is next month. Um, I give more details in the video that I uploaded on, here on this channel telling you about exactly what this GoFundMe is all about. So check that out. I have it in the links in the description below. You can go straight to it or you can check out the video that I made and, and uploaded here on YouTube. So <clears throat> a really kind lady uh, donated to my GoFundMe and asked if I would make a storybook based off of one of my dolls. So that is exactly what I did. She doesn't want the doll. She just wants the story about the doll. So I wanted to share that with you. I showed some pictures online on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook um, just a little bit about the book and the story that's, that's attached to that doll. <clears throat> so here's the doll. Her name is uh, Zombista Dark Moon. And she is a fabric hand-sewn doll that's hand-embroidered. Um, there's bottle caps on on her back from the days when I actually used to drink beer <laughs> I don't drink beer anymore it's been years since I drank alcohol but this is back in the days when I used to drink beer and I have um, I collected the bottle caps because I like the different colors <clears throat> and some of them have really cool designs on it and both sides have bottle cap designs on it as well so um, I picked out this doll as the character for the story that I decided to make and I named her Do Zombies to Dark Moon and she's from another planet and she has psychic abilities and she works with crystal skulls. So um, let me show you the, the story. First what I did, and you can check it out on my other channel called The Productive Cannabis Connoisseur, I show you how it all started out. Um, first I did a rough draft of, it, of the story. <clears throat> on just regular uh, drawing paper. The name of the story with that goes with this doll is um, The Wonderfully Bizarre and Mystical Adventures of Zombies to Dark Moon. And um, this is just the rough draft of it. So I did a whole rough draft uh, story and all. My son told me that it, it, uh, the style of how I'm doing the storybook reminds him of Dr. Seuss, the way it's laid out. So I do have a Dr. Seuss book um, that it's not mine, it's my son's, but I have a Dr. Seuss book that I can look at and to see and compare it, and I have. And it does kind of have that same Dr. Seuss kind of uh, layout where there's a story and there's writing. And so that's the rough draft of it. So I did the rough draft while I was waiting for the materials that I need for it. And when the materials came, I was really happy because I ordered uh, hemp paper. Let me show you. Hemp drawing paper. <clears throat> it's not 100% hemp. It's 25% hemp paper. And I got this on eBay and it was totally cheap. It was a really good price. Um, so the paper is a nice texture. I don't know if you can really tell what it looks like. The, the color of it, it's off-white. <clears throat> and... Um, it's the perfect texture for drawing for this project and writing. And this is the type of pens I'm using. I'm just using uniballs, the gel pens, because they just kind of work really, really nicely across the paper. I like the way they just like, you know, glide across the paper. <clears throat> and what else? And I also bought some colored pencils so that I could color it in and give it some uh, give it some color. So I had to buy a new pair, I mean a, no, a new set of colored pencils. These are the Verithin with the the hard thin lead pencils. I've tried the, Verith the Verithins before, they're really good. <clears throat> so yeah, so that's what I've been up to. I was working on this storybook for this doll. Um, yeah, would I sell this doll? I attempted to sell this doll on my Etsy shop uh, many times and it just never sold. So I'm okay with that. If it sells, it sells, it doesn't, it doesn't. That's just the nature of art. But this is how it looks so far. I 
I'm doing the finished product now. Now what I'm doing is um, putting the basics on here. I'm just going to do the, the drawings. and I've been doing the drawings and the text. <clears throat> just copying right along with the um, the rough draft and so after I finish doing this and I'm gonna um, add the color with color pencil and shading so and then it'll be done for um, that really sweet lady <laughs> who uh, commissioned me to do this piece so um, just thought I'd show you this is just some of the stuff that I also do along with the other type of artwork that I've showed on this channel and um it's something that's fun and it's fun it's something that expresses your creativity it expresses a part of you when you just allow yourself to be creative and not bow down to what other people think you should be creating i mean i've had that kind of pressure all throughout my life and i create what i create and that's all there is to it <laughs> so yeah that's this is one and i wanted to show you um a similar project that I did having to do with a doll and writing a storybook for that doll so I'll be right back alrighty I'm back so um, I'll show you the name of the doll is Maria Darkmoon I made this around the Christmas season last year so uh, but it's a hand sewn hand embroidered fabric doll it's an art doll an art doll isn't a doll that you play around with an art doll is a work of art you display so she has a whole story to go with her and here's a little storybook that I made I used a, a very hard stock of um, paper this is the type of paper that I had available and I thought it'd be cool to try it because it's really a thick type of paper making it feel like more like a book I sewed the binding with a uh, thread just reinforcing it embroidered it on the binding there and um, she has her own story to go with her. Um, it's a little storybook. This one's a little bit different than the one I'm working on currently because this has more text than than drawings or illustrations in there. But this pretty much tells the story of Maria Darkmoon. And um, I used regular pen on this and colored pencil. I didn't have any gel pens at the time, which I prefer. I think it looks good, but the gel pens are just a lot easier to work with. Not as stiff. And then that's the end of the page, so... Yeah, I've been having fun doing little stories with the dolls that I make. Um, this is, like, not the only one that I've made... doll that I've made and created a story with. I did this one project, and it was kind of a collaboration between me and my son of the zombie ducks and it was a zombie duck family and there was a woman that commissioned me to do the zombie ducks and, and made a zombie duck family and I had a whole storybook to go with it. Definitely was not for children. <laughs> Definitely not. But um, I just have fun creating stories. I mean, and um, it's cool to put a story with each doll. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys today. This doll, um, that I just showed you, Maria Darkmoon, she is for sale. So if you want to purchase her, you can contact me at blacknails31 at yahoo.com or scarydolllady at gmail.com. And I'll have all those links in the description below. Um, you can make a donation to my GoFundMe. I'm trying to raise money for this upcoming move in uh, April next month. Still haven't found a place yet. I'm trying to find, put your good positive energy out there for me. I really appreciate it. But yeah, I am um, trying to uh, raise up money for that. So if there's any art that you see that I've shown on this channel or on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, wherever, just feel free to let me know if you're interested in it. Even on my uh, Etsy shop, I can sell things outside of my Etsy shop. If you see some of my Etsy shop, you go, know, oh, I like this, but I don't really want to buy it through Etsy. Then contact me and we can work something out. So, yeah, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for being a subscriber for however as long as you have been. I really appreciate the support and the love that you guys share in the comment section below about whatever it is the topic is at hand. Um, and I like it when you offer up suggestions for videos for upcoming shows. So if you wanted to do that, you can do that as well 
um, you can donate and to my GoFundMe, and if you do, I can make you a video of your choosing on whatever topic you'd like for this channel. Um, <clears throat> but it's an option. It's not required to donate to my GoFundMe in order to watch the videos on this channel. So yeah, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you all stay creative. Um, I hope you all um, just take the time out to do something that makes you feel good. And that's why I share the art that I do, because it makes me feel good and it helps to heal me. And I've been told it helped to heal others when they buy it, when they look at it. So it's not just about me promoting my art. It's about me um, trying to encourage you to be more creative. You can buy this art or you can create art of your own. It's up to you. So thank you so much, guys, for being here and being supportive. I've been on this YouTube journey for a little bit. <laughs> kind of like since it started, YouTube was incepted. So <laughs> I really appreciate the opportunity to share creativity with you all. So thank you so much. Uh, stay creative. Brightest blessings to you all, and I'll see you soon.